Cassie, I will advocate for you. Because see, I know something that a lot of people don't know. I know that you and Kim Porter had a sit down right before she left us. So Jaguar Wright just dropped a bombshell backing Cassie's take on what really could have happened to Kim Porter. And it has been bombshell after bombshell. We decided to do the book because um, I'm not a rapper, obviously, or anything like that but I've been in the business and been around the business. The book covers a bunch of interesting stuff, like footage of Diddy's gay relationships and encounters with different guys. Even Cassie's husband had something shocking to say about Diddy. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a specimen. There's talk about whether he gave Usher an STD and this explosive incident between Diddy and Usher's mom, Mary J, who apparently had a pregnancy scare with Diddy. And you won't believe it, had an abortion. Hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of beating and s***ing his ex-girlfriend and singer Cassie. She filed a lawsuit against Diddy in New York federal court. Then there's the crazy story about Kim pushing him down the stairs in 2007, resulting in a broken foot. Now Jaguar Wright has spilled the beans on Diddy settling his lawsuit with Cassie. She claims Cassie knows about what Diddy did to his ex Kim Porter and has been trying to expose him for years. And Twitter has been going wild saying a long time mystery has been finally answered. This person tweeted, Kim Porter was writing a tell all book then magically died in computer misplaced. Al B sure got violently sick after blame her death on Diddy. And then Kid Cootie's car got blown up for dating Cassie when they broke up. But y'all saying why is she just now speaking up and this person had something interesting to add saying Kim Porter was essentially blacklisted from getting work in LA BC Diddy would asterisk allegedly asterisk show up to her work angrily and cause a scene so bad that people did not want to work with her making someone financially dependent on you is a tactic of abusers I believe Cassie and this person also put on their detective hat and decuted why Diddy was really in trouble. If Usher lived with Diddy at the age of 10, Kim was not only going to out Diddy for being gay, but also for the S rituals he would perform on children. Did Diddy assault Usher causing him to become bi? This is layered. Rumors have been flying around that Diddy might have had Kim eliminated because she was planning to write a tell-all book. Some people who used to work for Diddy even say they saw him getting physical with Kim. Gene Deal, a former bodyguard of Sean Diddy Combs, spilled some shocking details about Diddy's past relationships, particularly with the late Kim Porter. According to Gene, Diddy physically abused many of his past girlfriends, including Kim. Put his hands on her in the wrong way, and Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrists up. In a video, Gene laughed at what he saw as Diddy's insincere grief over Kim's death, alleging that Diddy broke Kim Porter's nose at one point. Gene called out Diddy in a YouTube video saying, You used to be a woman beater. Talk about how you used to beat Misa's Hilton A. Talk about how you tried to beat Kim's A. When asked about Diddy's song titled Kim Porter, Gene sarcastically commented, I think that's a great thing to do for the woman you claim to love. He added humorously, to honor the woman who gave you a scar on your wrist for the rest of your life that you could always look at and remember. Jean recounted a violent incident between Diddy and Kim, stating that Kim defended herself with a corkscrew, leaving a scar on Diddy's wrist that required hospitalization. He described their relationship as violent, noting that Kim couldn't be with anyone else, while Diddy had more freedom. Even during Diddy's relationship with J-Lo, Jean claimed that Diddy controlled Kim's life and made it uncomfortable for her if she tried to move on. When asked if Diddy regrets subjecting Kim to abuse, Jean dismissed it as a facade for the public, saying, All that shit looks good for the media. Jean also revealed that Diddy allegedly used the bodyguards during his abuse of Kim. This interview took place before Cassie filed a lawsuit against Diddy. Other women associated with Diddy's record label, including Aubrey O'Day and Don Richard, supported Cassie and disclosed Diddy's attempt to have them sign non-disclosure agreements (NDAs) to silence them. In her lawsuit, Cassie Ventura detailed her experience with Diddy, claiming that he forced himself on her when she turned 21. The lawsuit alleges instances of manipulation, providing drugs, and control over various aspects of her life. In the course of their relationship, Combs exhibited physical violence towards Ventura, reaching a point where she needed medical attention. When Ventura was 22, Combs initiated what he called freakouts or FOs, during which he supplied her and another person with excessive amounts of drugs, including ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and alcohol. 
This enabled her to disassociate during these traumatic encounters, often requiring IV fluids afterward to recover from the substances forced upon her. According to court documents, when Ventura resisted participation, Combs' security team would coerce her to comply and attempts to escape were thwarted by Diddy's employees. In September 2018, Ventura, determined to end the relationship, alleges that she was raped by Combs. The lawsuit details a harrowing incident where Combs forced himself into her apartment, disregarded her protests, and proceeded to attack her. Following these traumatic events, Ventura underwent intensive trauma therapy, sought treatment for drug addiction, and received medical care for her injuries. The lawsuit emphasizes that she will carry the physical and psychological repercussions of over a decade of violence, fear, and exploitation. Ventura is not the only woman to come forward. Aubrey O'Day, a singer in a group formed by Combs, claimed he tried to exploit her and alleged she was fired for not complying with certain expectations. Combs' ex-girlfriend Virginia Fee made similar accusations, including forced abortions. In an emotional interview, she described instances where Combs pressured her to terminate pregnancies and the emotional toll it took on her. Virginia Fee also recounted a distressing situation in August 2022 when she got pregnant again, suggesting an element of coercion. Despite her reluctance, Combs insisted on an abortion and left for Burning Man right after the procedure, leaving her emotionally distressed and feeling abandoned. Cassie's legal team asserts that they had a meeting with Diddy's lawyers before the lawsuit was filed. Allegedly, Cassie was offered a substantial sum, described as eight figures, to keep silent and prevent the lawsuit from being filed, a proposal that Cassie turned down. The settlement disclosed on Friday night and conveyed by Cassie's attorney, Douglas Wigdor, is portrayed as an agreement that satisfies both parties. In statements, both Cassie and Combs expressed their satisfaction with the resolution. Cassie mentioned, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. Combs, despite vehemently denying Cassie's claims earlier, also stated that the resolution was amicable and wished Cassie and her family all the best. Although they've settled their legal disputes, Diddy has frequently been in the spotlight for controversies. Notably, when his former girlfriend Kim Porter passed away from pneumonia, there was controversy surrounding certain comments made by Al B. Sure regarding the model and actress's death. In 2018, Kim Porter, the former girlfriend of Sean Diddy Combs and the mother of his three children, passed away in her sleep due to a lung infection, as reported by the Los Angeles police. The 47-year-old actress and model were found lifeless in bed on November 15, 2018, and her death was ruled accidental. Porter's goddaughter discovered her in bed at 8.30 a.m. the next day, initially thinking she was asleep. In 2018, a medical examiner mentioned that Porter had complained of a sore throat on November 7, which developed into a 102-degree fever by November 12. Although she tested negative for influenza and strep, she was given antibiotics, vitamins, and Toradol in her final week. By November 14, Porter's fever had dropped to a normal 96 degrees. That night, she had a deep tissue massage and watched movies with her family before going to bed at 11.30 p.m. According to the medical examiner, Porter passed away from lobar pneumonia in 2018. On November 15, 2018, Porter was found lifeless in bed at the age of 47, according to the postmortem report. After her death, her ex-husband, Al B. Schur, the father of her son, Quincy Brown, shared on social media, she sent me this saying, life imitating art, art imitating life. Now it all makes sense. Radar Online reported that Porter informed Al B. Sure that she was running, prompting him to suggest she call the FBI. This led to widespread speculation, with many assuming that Shore was implying Diddy's involvement in Porter's death. Even now, some internet users continue to accuse Diddy, although Shore did not directly mention him, leaving fans with suspicions. Amid the growing speculation surrounding Porter's death, Albie Shure took to social media to clarify that she was participating in a marathon. However, he later returned to the internet to express concerns about Porter's health, claiming in the Judiciary Report that she had plans to write a tell-all memoir about Sean Combs and other Hollywood insiders. Unfortunately, she passed away before realizing that. Kimora Lee Simmons, a longtime friend of Porter, visited her home after the news of her passing broke. In a post three days after Porter's death, Simmons expressed disbelief and recalled rushing to Porter's house, thinking it was a joke. 
There are speculative reports that Simmons has cast doubt on Porter's cause of death and may have knowledge about Porter's alleged tell-all book. Amid renewed calls from fans for truth in the case, Simmons posted a cryptic message on her Instagram story on November 17th, stating, As you sow, so shall you reap. In a separate development, TMZ reported that Diddy has been named in a New York Police Department investigation. Whether that leads anywhere remains to be seen. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.